Hey, what's up, guys? Um, <clears throat> I'm back. So, this is Am Sin, and uh, today is the uh, January 9th, 2022. And the weather outside is about, let's look at my watch. The weather is about uh, hmm, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to get ready to rock now. So this is for my, so if the kids are in a room, keep them there. Uh, this one's definitely dedicated to the kids. Uh, well, this is for the kids. So uh, we're going to do small letters, tall letters, and fall letters. These are going to be our lowercase letters. Um, and uh, especially for my Japanese students, watch and learn. Because you guys don't learn how to do what lowercase letters like really writing until junior high school. So, you know, and uh, that's something that should be handled like in kindergarten or first grade elementary school. Instead of games, you should be doing some writing, actual writing in the first grade. So I'm here for that. I'm going to fill in what they're not doing anyway. So let's go. Um, so our small letters, we're going to start with our small letters. All right, here we go. We're going to start with our small letters. Remember our Kaki June, our, our writing uh, pattern, our stroke, stroke pattern. Here we go. I'm going to start with the uh, lowercase a. That's going to be our small letter. So we go one, two. There we go. Easy. That's an A. That's a fat A. But, you know, if you want to really understand American culture, American culture, things are big. So we like our letters nice and round. Um, all right, here we go. So I'm going to do a C. This is a, sm a, a small letter. This is our under, un uh, lowercase C. And then I'm going to do an E. And then an I. Okay. And then an M. Okay. And then an N. So these are the beginnings right here of our our small letters. Okay, so let me, I guess I can fit one more uh, letter here. So we're going to do an S. We're going to do an S. As you hear the vowel sounds I'm doing, we're going to do an M, an N, an S. Okay, so those are also those are um, if you use acronyms, you know, like uh, NBA or something, you say an NBA player because in in has an E sound. But anyway, that's another class. OK, All right. Now we're going to continue. So we're going to continue with uh, we're going to do a U. So we've got our U one, two. There we go. We got our U right there. Great. Nice U. And then we will go to our V. So we can go do V one, two. There you go. And then we'll do a W. One, two, three, four. So I'm counting. So you guys will count along with me as you do this with me. Right. Let's do this together. We're doing this together right now. You, you, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can pause, you know, pause tape or pause this video and you can follow me or you can slow it down. You know, with the technology now, you know, you kids know how to fiddle with those gadgets. Anyway, so we're, we're blasting off now. So let's go. We're going to do the uh, let's do the R, the as you hear another vowel. This is another vowel sound by itself. The R and R. There you go. And then we are going to move over to an X. I had a little distraction. I'm back. Anyway, we're down to one letter anyway. So we're going to do Z. We're going to do Z. Let's move that over a little bit. And uh, let's go do Z. Let's go. There you go. Very good. So as you see, our small letters that go under the line, these small letters go under the dotted line. Um, uh, Americans usually use a three lined ones with the kids with the dotted lines when we're young, when we're in element. Uh, what is it? Um, 
uh, first grade uh, when we're doing the alphabet or kindergarten has been such a long time. But we use the dotted line, three lines. I don't use four. I'm just not interested in the, I'm not interested in four. It just doesn't do it for me. I like the three lines, uh, the three lines uh, for the fonts. Um, so anyway, these are the small letters. So, of course, uh, we have uh, A. Well, I should show you that. Let's do that one more time. Let's go A, C, E, I, M, N, and S. Then U, V, W, R, X, and Z. Uh, yeah, so you get the stretchy sounds. Those are also those stretchy sounds. R is definitely a stretchy sound. X, X is cross between stretchy and bouncy. So, okay. Anyway, we're gonna go on to our next. And we're set. back with the tall letters. We're about to do the tall letters. As you see, the tall letters. I've got that all set up. So I don't. I don't want to seem sloppy in my uh, delivery. So I just want to deliver it to you guys, hassle free. Anyway, so now our tall letters, remember kids, we're going to start from the top. The tall letters start from the top, right? We're going to go one, we're going to start with a B, and we're going to do a circle. There you go. So you got a line circle, one, two, one, two. Um, yeah, I'm going to start, I'm going to start my, uh, the babies, my baby class off with the uh, third, the little what? Three-year-olds, four-year-olds. I'm gonna start them off with the lines, just the the lines, the zigzag lines. What I could do zigzagging um, to build those, to build the the, the coordination, and to uh, start doing straight lines, ziggy lines, and these curved lines and the round lines. Um, okay. Anyway, here we go. We're gonna do the D. No, actually, yeah, that's a D. Yeah, D. One, two. Here we go. So we got a nice fat D, which is good. Nice fat D. Now, let's go do the F. We're going to do the F now. And we're going to do like a candy cane. So we, got, we candy cane it. And then there you go. I, I just love the alphabets. I don't, I don't know. I just alphabets are so relaxing. I guess it's the same thing when, um, when you do your calligraphy, when you do your uh, kanji. Kanji is just relaxing. It's just... It's tranquil, it's smooth, it's at your own pace, and uh, it's soothing. So this is a soothing exercise also. Uh, next, we're going to do an H. Let's go do H. One, two, there you go. It could be one stroke. You could do just do one, two, or just one, but just one, two, two strokes, of course. Um, one continuous stroke. Uh, so let's go to K. We're going to do K now. So ready? Let's do our tall up from the top. Remember the top? Yes. Cocky June or writing script. Uh, your script pattern does matter. That's our K. And then let's go do an L. There you go. We have another vowel, another vowel beginning sound L and L. There you go. L. And last one, we will do our T, 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 T. There you go. So we got, there you go. Why don't we uh, go over that one more right, time? So why don't we, let's practice our tall letters. We got our B and then we got our D and then we have our F and then our H and then our K, and then our L, and lastly, our T. Oh, that's even, right? Let's make sure that that's even, nice and even, because I'm, I'm delivering something to you guys. I'm delivering you a service that should be useful, and it should be done to perfection or close to perfection. Okay? All right, so now we're going to do our fall letters. Fall letters are pretty, pretty simple. Um, but I think also with the kanji, kanji's, kanji deals with spatial pattern. I read that somewhere in a, a Ashley Montague book. Well, it was, uh, he did it to a study also with some other guy. Um, actually he used them as a reference, but I think with spatial patterns and, um, 
mostly dealing with space. Kanji deals a lot with space. So does alphabets. But as far as doing the fall letters, I notice my kids try to fit those fall letters above the line where it should fall because that deals also with them thinking in their language, how to write their kanji. And they trans it translates when they're writing an alphabet, it translates into uh, how would they write their kanji. And so even the fall letters are above the line, like um, small letter. Well, actually like, like, like uppercase letters, they write them all, all the same. So I'm here to help you get rid of that little practice and we are going to do fall letters here we go let's go do our fall letters so remember we're going to start with our g lowercase g circle this goes under the line under the line not above the line let me show you i might as well do it yeah i might as well do it here this that's not a g we're not we're not going to do that above the line that doesn't go above the line um and then let's go do our J. So let's go do our J under the line. Yes, there you go. Oops, that circle, that dot's not perfect. And then we're going to do our P. Come on, let's go. Let's come on, P, baby. Let's go one, two, circle. There you go. It looks like it's like an upside down B, but it goes below the line. That's our fall letter. Um, let's go do Q. We're going to do Q and Q. There you go. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, this little, this little thing here, uh, that's, that's the way I was taught to do. I remember, here's a story. I was in, um, Wakayama. I was in this, I was in school. Um, and I remember writing that the teacher ran right over and erased that and I ran right back and I put it there and I just let her know that's how I do it and she said but it's not in a book well you know with the book um the book's iffy the book has been written in not with natives the, these books that they do that they write in Japan are not written with uh, native English experts is usually written through the eyes or understanding culturally of, you know, the people that write them here on this island. And they don't really have a good understanding of our language. That's why we're here teaching them. So sometimes they reject that uh, and they try to uh, uh, use a cultural filter in order to understand our language, but you can't do that. So you run into problems. But anyway, I do my cues like that. That's how I do my cues and I will not change for anyone. Um, anyway, that's just a story with the cues. So now let's go do the why. Let's go. Let's let's do the why, baby. Why, baby? Why? There you go. Now we got our four letters. Remember below the line, people below the line. Okay, um, let's do it. Let's practice our four letters one more time. And let's go G and then J and then P and then Q. And lastly, last letter Y. There we go. You know, I feel like doing something extra. I should do something extra. Why don't we do, why don't we practice those with some names? I'm going to do a few names. Um, well, no, these are all lowercase, so I'm going to stick with the lowercase. I'm just going to do some uh, things, some nouns. Let's go do some nouns. Um, why don't we do apple? Let's go. Let's 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 do apple. Everyone loves apple. So one, two, three, four, five. Apple. So Apple has um what do we call it? we have, it just has one syllable. Apple. Apple? No, two, sorry, sorry, two syllables. Apple. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Two syllables. Two syllables. That's like kugiri onsetsu, you say in Japanese, two syllables, sorry. Apple. Sorry, sorry about that. All right, let's go do I'm trying to fit English lessons in with English lessons. An English lesson in with an English lesson. Why don't we do, uh, let's do a CVC word. So we got a consonant, vowel, consonant, B, 
A T. And here we go. I'm doing another one. B at bat. There we go. So you got a bat. Bat. I was gonna save this for another lesson, but let's go do some fall letters now. Let's go. Um how about say you Japanese why you say say a that's the long a sound say um this one is a s a you can't like split these up into the onset so it's just s a say that's it uh let's do two more words we're gonna do two more how about um how about easy one cat let's go let's go do cat ready c a oops too much space t k at cat there you go yeah remember the a the a sounds yeah um the A has uh, about 10 different sounds, but uh, our basic three sounds, A, 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 is our very basic. So, yeah, let's try not to mix katakana or hiragana with the, uh, it's not kat, it's cat. If you say kat, that's a sleeping thing that you sleep on in the um, infirmary. So, anyways, cat, A, A. Now, let's go. Why don't we do... Um, Let's do a uh, let's do a jam. How about or ja a jog? Just a a, a a a a soft run, a brisk run is a jog. Jog ah ah ah. Now that gives us the mijikai, the short hit uh uh hitagana ah ah jog and a ah. There you go. So, why don't we practice? Let's so practice. Let's go. Apple, bat, say, cat, and jog. And I think we're finished right now for today. Until next time, um, we'll do some more stuff. And uh, enjoy the rest of your evening, folks. Mm -hmm.